Hello and welcome to today's video where you'll learn how to level up your PowerPoint skills by adding some subtle but engaging animations to your PowerPoint slides. By adding a video background and some shapes, you can see we've created an engaging professional slide. On it, we have multiple things going on. First, we have the video background that plays as you start the slide. Then, we added some triangle shapes that animate and rotate as the slide goes on. Along with some simple text, you can reveal your message. We'll replay the slide so you can see all of the elements come together. This design can be tailored to any topic, and you can always adjust the theme, color, shapes, and text. Bring your slides to life by just adding a few simple animations. Let me show you how you can create it as well. By the way, we're UXEC. We create business presentation templates and spreadsheet models to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly business templates and spreadsheets that will propel your career forward. I'm going to start by adding a new blank slide. Then I'll add a rectangle shape to cover the entire slide. I'm going to darken the color just a bit so we can see some more contrast as we build on top of it. On top of the rectangle, I'm going to add a circle. I'll also change the color of the circle so we can see the difference. Now we're going to add a triangle shape with rounded corners. PowerPoint only has the hard edges, so we're going to use Adobe Illustrator. From the toolbar, select the Polygon tool to draw your shape. Make sure to hold down Shift so that all sides are equal. Selecting this point will increase or decrease the number of sides that the polygon has, so we're going to make it three sides to form our triangle. To add the rounded corners, drag this top point down until you get the size you want. So here we have our rounded corner triangle. I'm going to remove the stroke here and change the fill color. Then I'm going to copy this from Illustrator and paste it into our PowerPoint. You'll want to convert this to a shape, and then you're going to center the triangle in the circle shape we made earlier. Then increase the size of the triangle so that it's as big as possible without going outside of the circle lines. Now we want to remove this triangle shape from the circle behind it. So select both of the shapes, go to Shape Format, and then go to Merge Shapes. Select Subtract, and the triangle should be removed. Here, you can see we have the circle that will create the front layer of what's on our original slide. So now it's time to add the video we'll use as the background. Select your file and drop it into PowerPoint, then center it on the slide. Open the animation pane and delete the default animation triggers. Then we're going to select Start with Previous so that this video starts playing as the slide animation starts. We're also going to send this video to the back so that it's the background of the slide. Now we can move back to the circles. We're going to place them on the slide like we have in our reference slide. We're going to need seven of them. We're going to make our first circle a bit bigger and place it in its position. Then copy and paste until you have the right amount and sizes. Next, group all of these circles and paste a copy of that group on a new slide. We'll come back to that later, but back on our original slide, ungroup the circles. With the circles selected, also select the background rectangle. Go back to Shape Format, Merge Shapes, and then Segments. This will remove the circle outlines from our original background, as you can see here. So we can delete all of the circles. We'll repaste the circles from our backup slide so we can see the triangle windows again. Ungroup these triangles and select the background rectangle. Change the shape fill to white. Zooming in, you can see that there are some small lines that we'll want to get rid of. We can do this by adding stroke outlines to the circles. Select all of the circles and add a stroke outline of about 1.5 and change the color to white to fill in those gaps. And remember, you can download this animated slide plus 500 other business templates to save you hours of work. Just click on the link below. Now that this half of the slide is done, we're going to go back to Illustrator to grab the triangle again to create some of the other assets on the slide. After converting to shape, add a gradient fill to this triangle by using colors from the video background.
we'll create one more gradient fill one that will be a bit smaller. Then, copy and paste to create a larger triangle for the bottom corner. However, for this triangle, let's add a stroke and select No Fill to create just an outline. We'll change the stroke color to one of the darker shades of blue from the video background. Next, let's add some text to the slide. First, add the title and adjust the font type and size. For the body paragraph, we'll make the text a little smaller and adjust the line depth to 1.5 to add some spacing. Our last design element will be a row of smaller triangles in the top left corner. Copy the triangle from the bottom right. Resize the first triangle and copy and paste until you have six triangles in total. They're easier to move if we start with a solid fill. We'll remove the fill once we're finished with the animation. So here is the finished design for this slide. So now let's add some animation. First, I'm going to randomly change the rotation of these shapes, so you can do whatever you think looks best. Then, with the first circle selected, give it a spin animation. In the animation pane, select Start with Previous so that it begins when the slide is started. In Effect Options, make sure 360 degrees clockwise is selected, and we're going to change the timing so it's a little slower and make sure to select repeat until next click so the animation continues. Then in the animation tab, select the animation painter tool. This will allow us to apply the same animation to the other circles. So we're gonna add the animation to all of the circles as well as the triangles with the gradient fill. For the smaller circles, feel free to play around with the duration as you see fit. Now, we're going to select alternating circles to add a counterclockwise rotation. Once selected, go to the Effect Options window to make this change. So now it will end up looking something like this. Moving on to the triangles in the top left corner, to the first triangle, add a fade animation, and as usual, this will start with previous. Next, we'll add a line animation. Let's set the duration for this line animation to 2 seconds, and in the Effect Options panel, you can add a smooth start and smooth end if you want. We'll copy this animation to each of the other triangles. As you do, you can increase the delay to create a staggered effect. So far, this is what these triangles will look like. This animation is done, so we can now remove the shape fill we had put on earlier during the design process. For the first two text boxes, we're going to add a fade animation and adjust its duration and delay. We're also going to add a fade animation to the video background itself. Make sure to start with previous so that we get this sort of effect. We'll also add the same fade animation to the two gradient filled triangles. Lastly, we'll add a play animation to the video background. So then, as you can see here, the video background plays right away. And here is what the final slide animation will look like when you play it. We hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you in the future. If you have any questions or work in the industry and have any feedback, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. This slide is also part of a more complete PowerPoint deck we've put together that includes other slides like this. If you have any suggestions, let us know. Thanks so much for watching.